So we all know that most people's cameras now are their phones, but there's some issues with having your phone as your main camera, right? It's very slim, it's slippery, ergonomically not so friendly. So if you're doing any kind of serious camera work with your phone, it could be a bit of a headache. There's all kinds of attachments and adapters that have come out, but most of them focus on the lens. Today I have a product in front of me that doesn't do that. Instead, it attempts to give you more of a DSLR, but on the grip side, while maintaining the lens that you've currently got on your 7 Plus, 6S Plus or 6 Plus. You don't wanna get another camera because you can't share instantly and then it's another device to carry and charge and so on. Maybe this thing is the solution. Five external buttons for much easier control and better pictures, 10 preset modes, ready for any type of scene with the click of a finger and a dedicated app powered by ultrasonic os so is there a battery inside of this thing that maybe a little extra juice for your phone four to six months of battery life holy smokes a cool little package here with the door it opens up look at the happy people over here it's a day out on the town shopping you could still use lens adapters alongside it has a tripod mount and it even has a cold shoe mount so you could put a dedicated LED or flash in there. You're getting all professional. There's the unit. Ooh, it does remind me of a proper camera. Kaboom. I took photography class in high school, old school photography class. It's a cool class. Tom, how old are you? Get out of here. A dedicated shutter button, that's kind of nice. Exposure compensation on the back. I think this wheel in the front might be zoom. Cold shoe, for those of you that don't know, it just refers to the fact that there's no electrical contact points in there. Otherwise, it would be a hot shoe. Get it cold, hot. A full-size tripod mount on the bottom. That's where the battery is. Ooh, that's a, okay, that's a half. That's one of those fancy half AA batteries. The neck strap, the wrist strap, there's two straps. One for the neck, one for the wrist. A travel case water resistance i know you're on it you want to take it to the beach now the all-inclusive the umbrella in the drink the pina colada you ever had a pina colada never okay all right tough guy i like to drink beer and whiskey jack look at that your world is about to change man I have an iPhone 7 Plus. Remember, this is for the 7 Plus, 6S Plus, or 6 Plus. Any of the Plus, you gotta have a Plus. Oh, it's spring-loaded. Check that out. Whoa. The spring will grip onto the phone. Kablamo. Pictar app downloaded. Hello? You can kind of already see a preview of what it's gonna look like. Now, half press on the shutter button to lock focus and exposure. Okay. Press on it fully to capture your first image. Tom, say hi, bud. Congratulations. Your first picture with Pictar. It's Tom, he's in there somewhere, trust me. The meta picture. Find the zoom ring and roll it. Okay, the zoom ring is here. Exposure wheel, roll it to reduce or add light. Oh, that's cool. So this smart wheel will change modes for you. Action, nature, video mode front facing camera, rear facing camera. So there's your interface now. You can see my hand underneath there. But you'll notice you have your exposure in the bottom here. You wanna be near the center, but you can make those adjustments on the fly with the exposure compensation. I can select anywhere on screen to grab focus as opposed to just hitting the half shutter, automatic flash, no flash. We can adjust our aspect ratio. We can set a timer. We can see a histogram. That's kind of cool. A horizon HDR mode and then filters. What are these filters about? Let's see here, filters. Oh, so we have filters for saturation, contrast, exposure. This is a macro mode. You can get a really close focus with this manual macro. Now video, I wanna check out. Let's try video real quick. Let's see, can I trigger the recording right from the shutter, of course, I should be able to. There you go. So now, I'm recording on the Pictar with the iPhone 7 Plus. We've got Big Tom, of course. We have Jack. We, we wouldn't know what to do without him. You know what, let's go over, let's talk to Tom real quick. We're just gonna see what Tom has to say right now, because he's really been, he's Come wanting on, to man. talk to you guys, and so. That's so close. The main thing here though is the ergonomics, right? You can do a lot of this on the iPhone's app on its own, but the ergonomics here are so different. I'm still recording. Let me just camera here. 
Galaxy S8. It feels like a camera. It feels like you're operating a camera. Maybe you're a vlogger type, because even on the forward facing camera, if you think about it, I got a real good grip. Let me try that out for the drama of the situation. One of the great dramatic unbox therapy selfies. But having those wheels, the wheels of steel, you're just more inclined to make those tweaks on the fly. That's the idea here. This episode of Unbox Therapy has been brought to you by iAudi Light Switch. It's a complete different take on the light switch. The thing up and down, on and off, it's not cutting it anymore. This one connects via Wi-Fi and has an app to go with it. You can put these things all over your house and all of a sudden you can control the action of those light switches wherever you happen to be, even if you're not home. This thing can react to proximity. So like you roll up to the house and the lights come on to welcome you. It can go on or off depending on the weather outside. It's completely up to you. It's really, it's incredible. Look at this, okay? You can set up notifications for certain types of alerts because these have proximity sensors on them as well. Somebody walks past starts to glow. It also helps you to track your energy consumption. Away mode, make it look like you're home when you're not. So the lights will randomly turn on and off. It's a DIY installation. It's three wires. That's what the light switch will clip on to. Three simple wires. Very elegant type of design. Certainly more modern looking than the generic switch you probably have on the wall right now. So there you go. You want to upgrade your light switch, your smart home. This is where you're going to start. More information on the IOTI light switch. Visit the link down in the description. Pick one of these up for yourself. Let me know how you make out. I mean, the light switch. It's time for it to be disrupted. It's very low tech. And that ain't good.